welcome to today's show. My name is Jack Colber, The Magic Brush. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a painting I call Misty Morning. We're going to have some trees in the background, uh, maybe a little road coming across, and maybe what we'll do is have a little fence, maybe some trees on both sides. We'll have a little bit of the canvas right now with the magic white. And this allows me to blend color on the canvas. Fine. Okay. Let's have a little bit of fun today. First thing I want to do is I'm going to use the large brush. I'm not even going to clean it. And I'm going to go into my black paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull out a little bit of black on the large brush. Just like so. With the white on there, it turns a little bit to the gray. What I want to do now is up to the canvas is I want to start with, with the sky. Uh, with this painting, we want to do what's behind first, work our way forward. Today I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the sky. I'm going to twist and turn the brush a little bit, and that's going to give us a little bit of movement. I want to keep it like a misty effect. So let's just go up here, and we'll just kind of twist and turn. And I want it darker maybe up at the top. It's mixing with the magic white and automatically getting a little bit lighter as I come down. Don't want it too dark, like so. And actually I can very lightly just soften and blend it. And what, what happens is it mixes with the magic white underneath, becomes lighter in value automatically. And what I want to do in this painting is I'm going to put some trees in the distance. So I'm going to use the same brush right now. And I'm going to just add a little more black. And I'm going to tap it on my brush. So you can see me. I'm just tapping it, picking up a little bit of paint. I don't want too much paint. This is pretty far away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to In the distance here, I just want to throw some trees, the indication of some trees. So I'm going to take the large brush, and I'm just going to tap the brush. I'm going to hold the brush on an angle so you can see this. I'm kind of holding the brush, just tapping the corner. And I'm just going to throw in the indication of some trees. Just put them in there. Just tapping, tapping, tapping. Kind of windshield wiper back and forth. It's just, this is really in the distance. Right now it's in front of me. It's the closest thing to me because I haven't put anything in front of it yet. But it's just the illusion of some upstanding trees in the distance. And just tapping the brush very lightly. Looking for a nice uneven line Just like this side. This is how you would actually make a path also. It's coming across straight, nice and level, right off the canvas. And I'm just letting it soften back a little bit. Should get a little darker as we get closer. And you can see all of a sudden how it looks like you can go yonder and into this. Still see the mist separator back and tapping it, getting a lot of this black paint on my palette onto my brush. I'm going to turn the brush around, and you can see the little dog paw there. I'm going to, I'm going to paint with the back of the brush and push upward. So I'm going to say, hey, where's a tree? Find out what you don't like. Cover it over. I don't really have anything in particular here that I dislike, so I'm just going to say there's a tree here. I'm going to push it in, and you can see by this tree being a little darker, I'm going to bring it right down into the land area. So you can see by this being darker and this being lighter, it has created the illusion of some depth. Per Start way back here in the distance. I'm just going to lightly touch, put a little post in there. You can see how it's coming forward as I'm doing this. What'll happen is, as I come closer, I'll push a little bit harder 
with the brush. That'll open the brush more, give me a thicker post, and that's what you want. You want it thin back there. And it's going to get thicker and larger, and we'll put one right here. Remember, we're using the thinner, so this flows off of this brush. I need this post to be a little bit larger, because it's closer to us right now. All right, that looks fine. Let that just disappear, get smaller into nothing. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush, and I'm going to put the indication of maybe starting here, I'll push it nice and hard, and the post is coming over there. Keep on picking up paint as I need it. I want to pay attention to where I'm going with this. Up here, go to the next one, letting it disappear lightly into nothing. To get that nice dog paw, and over here, we're going to lose some of this guy. Maybe there's a tree here. Just going to put my palette down for a second. Pushing in and out in and out. Each stroke is a dab. Don't let it stroke or smear. You just want it to dab. Now I'm going to push, I'm going to hold the brush level now and use that same stroke that I used over here, push it in and up to give me some nice dark land over in here. Maybe that's where the road goes. I want to show a cattail. Take the brush, push in, ease off. Maybe another one here. Push in, ease off. Just bring them lines up. Little cattail. Maybe there's another one uh, right, right there. Push in, ease off. Okay. And just lift that stuff up. All right, now I'm gonna clean my brush. Take a step back a little. Look at my painting, make sure everything is okay. Maybe in the distance, I have maybe a little bird or two back here in the distance. Just a little touch and pull. One over there, one over there. Maybe there's one over here flying. A couple birds. All right. I thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.